What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Souls 1, and Air is about to travel through. I don't know if this is still considered Dark Root Garden or if it has a different name, but either way, it's where those uh, those dudes were protecting, protecting the forest at to beat our ass that one time many moons ago. Anyways, we're going through here now. Hopefully, we can just yeah, we can we can fuck them up. Even we can we kind of beat their ass before, but now we can really beat their ass. The stream froze. I thought you were curbing to the bit. Oh, no, we should be good. Let me check now. You're freaking me out. Freaking me out. Let me check. Uh, we didn't drop any frames. That's weird that it froze. Yeah, everything's okay. What is this? Oh, Grave Lord Servant. Now they can stay. I'm sure there's a negative for that, to that being there, but they can stay. Hey, a thief! So, if you are unfamiliar with Dark Souls 1, prepare yourself for depression here shortly. Especially if, you, if you've been watching the series up to this point on YouTube or on stream. So, remember when we saved Sif, we saw a cat that was kind of leading us towards him? Well, cat. Is it not so that thou art me? Thou fared well to find me, but cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Because we did it, not Traversing him. the dark. Hmm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. It is kind of cool. Because, like, when you originally play the game and, sh and the cat says this, like, you don't know the shit that goes down in, U in Ulyssa with Artorias. So it's kind of cool how that ties in with the DLC. Also, the cat's eyes are closed, I think. Is this seeping? Are your eyes closed? I fell asleep. Well, indeed. Thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Dark Root Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defiles of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes. I believe we would suit thee well. Protect Artorius' grave? Fuck yeah. I am very glad. Also, and cat. Now, let us establish a covenant. And here, taketh this ring. So the cat covenant ring allows you to protect the forest, so you, you can invade people who come into the forest. If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will, by their honor, work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage will be thine own. A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thine own reward. Forever stay true. Dares not in any attempt to double cross. Have no doubt. Such wretchedness never will we tolerate. Okay. So now the people in the forest won't hurt you. Also, this guy's here. I've heard all about you. I'm Shiva of the East, captain of the brigade. Let's teach you the clan basics now, as there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting. Except. There is little in the form of rules, you hear. Fight and hunt as you like. Whoever's fastest gets the prey. That's the way we do it. It's very quiet. Only, don't forget what Alvina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance for any reason. That's about it today. Don't worry. Great to have you with us. 
Thanks, Shiva. I kind of like the Eastern set. I don't think we have it, right? We didn't, no, we did we pick that up? We might have picked that up. I think I put it in the box, though. Also, yeah, there's a ninja right here. Hi. I think if you kill him, you get the item. Nice talk. Ah, did you notice that one? The sharp eyes? He is one of the clan from the east, like myself, always slinking in the shadows. But he is a tough one. You will see what I mean. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Shiva moves down to Blight Town at some point. I don't know what prompts that though. Don't worry now. You'll be called in soon enough. Hunters with patience score the best kills. You done talking now? Don't worry. Yeah. I don't know what prompts him to move, but I know that he does. <laughs> Cat butt. Alright. Um so yeah, Alvina obviously leads you to Sif in the DLC. Which kind of tracks with her being here protecting the graves of the forest. You can kind of put together where this is going if you don't know already. Oh, the whole stone set. Nice. Oh, yeah, we got the mushrooms here. Remember, Darkroot Garden and Darkroot Basin are essentially Ulusil. But like on your way into Ulysses, so where Sanctuary Garden and everything was, we're here, but much in the future. So yeah, El Elizabeth's kin survived. We've already seen the mushroom people um, when we went to the Great Hollow. It's the big ones you gotta worry about. I don't think you can find Elizabeth here though, anywhere. Even though you do get to see what could be considered her in Dark Souls 3. That area, lore-wise, is like my, one of my favorite areas in Dark Souls 3. It's just so cool. Just because it's a big reference to all of this. Yo, Lulu! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Alright, we're going to murder the mushrooms. Not for any particular reason, I guess. There's probably stuff here. I don't know if it's stuff we need necessarily, but there's stuff. Uh, we didn't, we never saw the giant cats, did we? So Alvina, her model, there's giant versions of her that barrel roll at you. Well, they do like a, I guess a barrel roll at you. But yeah, but I mean, like I was saying, yeah, this is the area from the DLC. All of Darkroot Garden is technically. You're just seeing it in a different time period. I don't know if Quail Like Fury is good for New Game Plus. So it seems like with 10 humanity, because it increases chaos damage, and with where our dex is at right now at 40, we've capped the damage around 507. Yeah, because the scaling for it is not great. For new game, though, it, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's worked out really well, actually, thus far. It's my first time actually using it. We're going over there, but there's stuff over here. We'll go here first. There's the giant cats. Those things probably will, pro will pose a problem. Um, because they're not exactly... They hurt. Bye! Seeing them now is not so bad, because we can kill them kind of fast. But they start rolling. Oh boy. Oh god! Double cat! Cats don't like fire, though, if you guys didn't know. Yeah, you basically get all your damage out of the Fury Sword from the fire damage on it. Like I said, we're even using 10 humanity to buff it, and it's still... I think we've capped it out for the most part. Uh, for the most part. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure how, how strong this would be. We, we, we've already went up that ladder before. I don't know how good this would be on New Game, on New Game Plus. There are definitely better options, I think. I think if you went with like a deck scaling weapon, like a one that would scale better with decks, um, that probably would be a better move, but I don't know.
Because even like Pyromancy's top, they're like a base damage on them, you know what I mean? They don't really scale with anything. Never used a Life Hunt Scythe before either. I honestly, the, the only boss weapon outside of the Fury Sword that I really ran in the game is uh, um, the Artorias Sword. Like that, like when you do like a the quality build version. I've done, I've used the 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 you know pure Artorias Sword, whatever it's called, um, and the uh, what's it called? The one of the the Abyss version. It's like not as good. I don't know if there's anything else over here or not. We did explore some of this area already, so it's not like a first time coming here. Anyways, let's go get depressed. I hope that I did the DLC stuff right. So we should get a cool cutscene here. It's a very minute difference from the regular cutscene, but it adds a lot to the depression. <laughs> what bring ahead? I don't believe that. Tears ahead, I agree with. Imminent sorrow. All right, here we go. Man, look at that sword. It looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> He's got to write all these messages. For the record, I don't know how the sword gets bigger, because that's not as big as the sword Artorias wielded. But hey, look, it's our buddy that helped us fight Manus. He's grown. So here's the difference right here, Kenny. Watch. See, he realizes who you are. You saved him. And he whimpers. It's so fucking sad. It's so, it, it'd be so cool if you didn't have to do this fight, but you still have to because he's still going to protect Artorius' grave. But yeah, normally he doesn't sniff you. Ah, here we go. Best boy. The fight's even fucking depressing because it's not a hard fight. He'll probably kill me, but if you guys don't know what happens here, when you lower him enough, he starts to, to limp, and it's just fucking depressing. He's about as aggressive as he is when he helps you fight Manus, too. But he does hit harder. He's grown quite a bit. Alvina was feeding him good. Not there yet. That might be enough to see it. Not yet. Is that enough? He fucking limps! Watch! Fuck you from software. Fuck you. I don't have any depressing emotes, so we can't do anything. Ah, 
Uh, if Sif protects Artorius' grave, why do you need to fight him uh, for the uh, the four kings abyss ring? Well, because the uh, covenant of Artorius allows you tr to traverse the abyss. Um, and I guess they didn't want to change the fight. They didn't want to make the fight optional with the DLC because they want you to be sad. When you got a husky, you had two other uh, two other names before picking his current name. Nice. It was Zephyr or Sif, but you picked Scout. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's uh. That's our depression for the night right there. The bestest boy ever. Soul of the Sif, the Great Wolf, the Grey Wolf, who guards the grave of Artorius the Abyss Walker. Special beings have special souls. Use the soul of Sif, who inherited the Divine Night Sword, to acquire a huge amount of souls or to create a unique weapon. I think you can make I think it's the soul of Sif that actually makes the pure Ar the like the pure Artorius greats or not the Abyss version. I think the Abyss version is made from the soul of Artorius. I'm not sure though. Hi, Peta. I'd like to report an asshole being mean to sweet puppies. Oh my god. Anyways. I'm sorry. Alright, let's go now. I, I, it, it would have been really cool if they gave the, if they like having that interaction in the DLC stop the Sif fight from happening, but unfortunately that's not how it works. Because, as many know, nobody has a happy ending in Dark Souls, including the goddamn player. <laughs> We have enough to level up, I think, right now. Yeah. Okay, down into um, where are we going? New Londo, we go. Hey. Well, we needed the ring, though. Unfortunately, without the ring, you can't go down there. This ring symbolizes Knight Artorius' covenant with the Beasts of the Abyss. It's where, like Artorius himself, can traverse the Abyss. But we know Artorius failed in his attempt to traverse the Abyss and was corrupted by it. And it was actually us that stopped the spread of the Abyss and killed Manus. Yes. Yes, Ev, if you must put it that way. The only happy ending is a swift death, pretty much, Kenny, in this game, for anybody involved in it. <laughs> uh, so if we do get cursed here, uh, can you get cursed? If you get cursed, you can remove the curse here. I don't know if you actually can get cursed here. I guess we'll find out. I don't remember. The ghost might curse you. We'll see. Transient curse lets you hit them. That's why we want, we want that on our bar. I, I don't know if magic or pyromancies work, though. Is that a dog with a knife? I think it is. <laughs> Appropriate for Sith. Okay, pyromancies do not work. Now, you can obviously come here a lot earlier than we have. Like, literally the beginning of the game. But you have to deal with... I think it's divine weapons hurt them. So, like, you could make a divine weapon that would allow you to go through the Tomb of the Giants and not allow the skeletons to respawn. And also, uh, it'll work here. Yeah, there are dark wraiths down here. I need more transient curses though, because this takes a minute to get through. There's a bunch of these fucking ghosts. Must have to go through the area to get down there. 
Oh, yeah. <sighs> you came down here first thing we got the fire link to lower the water. Oh, yeah. What is that? That is... What is the purpose of doing that early? Is there a benefit to that? Hey! Stop. Um... Hmm. I don't know where- oh, right here. Uh, no, just not to uninstall immediately. Gotcha. Are you meaning because if you get cursed, it fucks you? Shut up. I think they drop a weapon. I think you can farm the, the ones that scream, maybe. But yeah, early on, if you get cursed, like in, um... Ooh. In, uh... The sewers. You can come down here to remove it. There's an NPC that will actually do it for you. And I think that's why you have to lower the water. Like Bummy's saying. Because maybe you can't have that interaction unless you lower the water. I don't remember. It's been a minute. But usually I just try not to get cursed. <laughs> The curse and the and the the bug infecting you are two really annoying things that can happen to you in the game. Is there actually nothing down here? Or have I just not found the thing that's down here yet? That must be what it is. You get the key from the guy that gives you the petrification stone. He gives you the key to lower the water. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, the NPC down here. We found his clothes. <laughs> Shit, are you not able to get back up from down here? I don't have any fucking homeward bones either. That's fucking awkward. I gotta be missing something, right? I don't... I don't... It's hard to believe this is actually like you're truly trapped if you do that. There must be something. Oh, here we go. Maybe. No. Fuck, I think I am. Oh, there's a ladder. Oh. Oh. Fuck. All right, well, we don't have any homeward bones, so. Whee! That was sad, retry, I agree. Also, what's up, how are you? Dude, how's the semester going? How's school and everything? Doing all right? Thank you. My finest work yet. about 20k away from ruining stream now great love to hear it Kenny starting to get slightly more stressful but it's been easy so far that's good it's a little better than uh, your first semester was then I know you can cookie I'm aware 
a lot better than first. That's good. Well, that's why you bank the points and wait to we get till we get to a game that you can modify in some way or you know something like that. You don't need 100k points to ruin this. Trip. I will say, don't use the modify the stream redemption to get me to play a game that I don't own. Like, for example, I think some of the ones in the past, Cookie used one when we played Fire Emblem, the Blazing Sword, to um, make me make it a permadeath run. Um, Aldizen used it during Armored Core Master of Arena to force me to use whatever part we found as we found parts throughout the game and unlock parts. We had to use whatever we found. Um, trying to think of other ones. There are other ones too. Those are the two that I can think of off the top of my head. Those are the couple I think can think of off the top of my head. Oh, um, Sharks in Space used one to force me to fight Ibis in the AC grip, which is the upside down controller in, uh, in Armored Core 6. So those are some examples of how people um, have used the 100k before. There's there's others too, I think. Maybe Cookie or somebody remembers. I don't. Those are the ones that I can remember off the top of my head, though. I think RP has used it before for something. Oh, was the viewer tier list one? Was that one of the ones? Okay, there you go. Viewer tier list was one. So, some ideas of how to spend your 100k. RP might have used it during Baldur's Gate to force me to respec to a two-handed sword, like a, like a, like a fighter. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, he used it to make me switch my main in Berseria a long time ago. Yeah, there were threats of using it to do the post-game content for MS Saga. That's true. The problem is, well, not the problem. It's up to my discretion, I suppose. Like certain redemptions, like for example, the viewer tier list was a like an hour long, roughly. Um, the Ibis redemption was a couple hours. Normally, it's like to modify a stream, so it's like three hours long. An exception of that, because like that's the Berseria one was to switch my main was like three hours long. Um, hey, hey, guys, chill. Hey there, Jagged Ghostblade. Nice. Um, the AC part, use the parts you find thing was three hours long, I believe. Um, the one, like, caveat was that I told Cookie before he spent the points was that if he spent the points to, for, to have me do the no death run and, uh, or the permadeath run and Fire Emblem, that I would honor it for the whole playthrough. 100k to make you play the dreaded Diablo 4 with you and RP. I mean, I would do it for a stream. If you wanted to do that. I don't know there's a merchant over there, I guess. Who the, who the fuck is over here, actually? I'm curious now. What I'm saying is, normally it applies to a, th a three hour increment, the standard length of a stream. Um, but there are exceptions where I'll apply it to a full playthrough, depending on what it is. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. Thanks. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget. The dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Which is abyss. actually the player character. If you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. What's your name? I don't know this dude's name. I know that. The key to... What do you sell? Transient curses, resist curse. Oh, that's cool. 
All right, goodbye. Or her, or her cookie will just redeem 100k points every stream of the playthrough if you try to fight it. <laughs> Normally, what I would suggest before you redeem, unless you know that I'll be down for it, is ask me. Or, like, make me aware of what you think you're going to do, and we'll talk about it. That's what I would say to do. Because, you know, there is a chance that I just like, agree with what you want to redeem. Not saying that I would do that, but it is possible if it's real bad. <laughs> Like, exponentially annoying. Alright, that you're that way. So we need to go a different way. Did I just come in? I just came in here, didn't I? Yeah. <sighs> like, make the request to play one of those hentai games RP gets. Yeah, we couldn't do that, obviously. I could probably make that jump. Ingerod? Ingerard? Oh, okay, that was not a drop off. That's the NPC's name? Okay, did not know that. Now we know. Thank you. What's over here? Oh, shiny. Curse Bite Ring? Nice. Oh, Ingward. Okay. I'm pretty sure those are against TOS. Don't quote me, but I, you know what? Honestly, I'm not going to risk it either way. So the fact that we're unsure is enough to make me not do it. <laughs> Alright, I think that's progress right there. What's up here? A shiny, perhaps. Indeed. Oh, shiny over there, too. Fuck. I want it. God damn it. Oh, the humanity. Oh, you can drop back down right there. Cool. Oh, rare ring of sacrifice. Nice. Anywhere else I can drop down that might be better than dropping back in there? Absolutely not. Oh, hey, what's up, Goomba? Yeah, piece of candy. Can't resist it. It calls to me. The U manatee? What? Oh, the U. Ah, I get it. The U manatee. It's a manatee in a certain U of color. Okay, that's gonna lower the water, right? What's up here? It's probably the way you want to go. Is there something down here? I could be wrong. Wait, what's this do? No, never mind. What's this do? Oh, there. Oh, there. Yep. yep. CDS Corp for the humanity, okay. This was so satisfying for you. I don't, does that unlock any, can you get to new areas to get new items when you do that? I don't remember. All right, we should go see some dark wraiths here pretty soon. Oh, there's, yeah, you can enter through the Valley of the Drakes right there. That is a shortcut, I think, technically. I, uh, so you can use this now, too. That, that, that goes down. Yeah. The new Londo Water Park opens today. Oh, 
Oh, composite bow. That'd be a good pickup early, because you can get here with relative ease, honestly, there in the early part of the game, because you can run past a lot of the ghosts. All right, let's go. See, let's go meet some dark wraiths. Oh, uh, you can get the very large ember early too. Waivers must be entered before entering the park. We will not be liable. Careful, they might kiss you. Yeah. Hi. Recurring enemy. Nice. Sh their shields are kind of cool, actually. Ah, you forgot I had that parry shield on. Wonder what kind of damage we do to these guys now. Uh, not as much as I thought. All right, I didn't want the whole crew. No, I didn't just jump into that. You you missed saw. You didn't see what actually happened there. God damn it, I did it again. Oh, see ya. Um, I forget the lore for the wraiths, honestly, Kenny. Someone might know in chat, though. Stormtroopers. Ow. Hey. God, you're just as annoying as the big ones. All that for the brigand set. Hell yeah. I've always wanted a brigand set. Um, I, the, the Dark Wraiths must be part of the Abyss, right? Dark Wraiths were once on to the Four Kings of New Londo before sending into Dark along with their masters. There you go. There we go. There's the lore of the Dark Wraiths. Their set's kind of cool. They look cool. Their shield's cool too, the Dark Hand. They, uh, I think that when they suck you, they suck your humanity. Don't quote me on that. And let's not find out. Everyone's dead here. The dank hand. Are oh, there some kind of massive ball enemy here, isn't there? Like blob enemy. Why? Hey! 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 Hey, relax. Relax. They might, I don't know if they, if you have to like farm them to get the, you, cause you can get their sword too. Cause I remember in Dark Souls 3, the Dark Wraith sword's like busted. It used to be busted. I'm pretty sure it got nerfed in the ground though. Yeah, it was in DS3, Kenny. It was really good when the game came out and I'm pretty sure they nerfed the fuck out of it. Cause it was like ridiculously strong. Not like regular OP, it was like advanced OP. Sword's a common drop. The hand is a rare drop. Early. Oh, there's the thingy over there. I don't know what that thing is supposed to be, but it's unfriendly. Oh, God! Extendo spear. Okay, you're real fucking annoying, aren't you?
that's not a spear, wink, wink. Oh, I hear him. Oh, there he is. You think what made it so good was this move set that it had like the darkness without having to attune or upgrade into that, then the nerf, but this is the natural darkness attribute off of it. Uh, no, it was more than that, because I think you could buff it still or something like that. Like, I think it was involved of what it could do. Where the fuck does this go? Oh, shortcut. I know, I was just checking to see what I wanted to see this one. We'll explore the whole area, don't worry. Relax. We don't we don't even need that ember anyway. We'll get it. I don't like the vibes here. They're off. It says this area has bad vibes. A shiny down a long path. Like, what's going to happen? Okay. Fair enough. Ember. You think that's what it was? It had that had a natural darkness attribute, but you could still buff it with others, and you couldn't do that with other natural attributed weapons. Right. Well, that's like a thing in every Souls game. If it has something on it already, you shouldn't, you, you aren't normally able to buff it. It had like really good scaling and everything, too, from what I remember. Like, it was just a really strong weapon. Which, I'm sure it's still completely viable if you want to use it. And you can farm Dark Wraith super early in the game, too. Because I remember when I did a Pyromancy build in Dark Souls 3, I ran it just because I like the sword. It's like it's solid straight sword, so why not? Did I say 2? I meant 3. I don't know if I said Dark Souls 2 or 3 right there, but I meant 3. Really? <gasps> they lied. No, put that away. Hey! Fine. Don't touch me with your goddamn shiny hand, brother. I'm trying to give you the suck. I think he, he was, dude. Get away from me. I don't want it. Air only simps for 621, not the dark raids. Muck want the suck. <laughs> sucky, sucky five souls. Now, honestly, I think they suck humanity. They're not souls. Which is bad in our case because we want to preserve our humanity. What is. Something made a noise. Oh, uh, we're back here. I love the. Uh, the lighting here, it's very nice. Very bright. Happy.
Oh, fuck me. Oh, boy, the boys are here. The boys are gone. Oh, one of these fucking things. Does not hurt itself, apparently. Thousand souls is pretty fucking good. Chunk. Chunk, no captain chunk. Does anyone who can name what that's from? Chunk, no. Captain chunk. If you don't have a sub, I'll I'll gift you a sub. If you can guess what that's from. Don't Google it. You don't know, you don't know. Very few, few people suck like the Zuck. Pr pretty sure it's from that one thing in media. Yeah. You can't say because you have a sub, yeah. We'll give it a couple of minutes. Chunk? No, Captain Chunk. What's it from? <laughs> You guess it, I will gift you a sub. If you don't want a sub, you just get to know that you're right. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to just jump, but I don't remember. So we're gonna walk. <laughs> That's a good hint. Couldn't be the Goonies, only a boomer would quote that. Yeah, you're right, definitely not. Only a boomer would quote that. All right. If you're wondering, it is from the Goonies. Connery! Where are you at? Let me see here. Here you go. Take your subscription! I'm glad somebody knew. I guess two people knew. Ev knew as well. Kenny, did you know? I did Crazy put on the ring. Comrade gifted a tier one sub to Conry. Whee! Right, it's a song or band. Cause um the, the the well okay, am I good for a second? Yeah. So we're in the abyss. Looks cool, right? Um fuck, we're not good. Never mind. I have things to say, but we'll say it after I kill these guys. Hey! Anyways, there's it, Chunk No Captain Chunk is a quote from the Goonies, but there's also a band called Chunk No Captain Chunk. It's like a post-hardcore kind of pop punk type band. Big fan of them too. Dude, what a whiff. That tracks. What even hit me right there? All right, you know what? This is faster and more reliable. I've learned the ways of making only using pyromancies when I had an opening. You love leading streaming, uh, leading streamers into this fight for the first time and watching them not know about the ring. Yeah, uh, it's very easy to miss. Obviously, you don't I mean that's not exactly straightforward that you need it for this. Even though there is a hint, but also Artorius was not in the base game, so it wasn't even a good hint for the base game. It's like one of the old, like one of the most lore-intensive puzzles, I guess, for the game. So yeah, if you don't kill these guys fast enough, they'll swarm you. For a long time, everyone said this was the hardest boss in the game. I think the DLC proves that wrong. Conceptually, though, it's really cool. Like, we're literally chilling in the abyss right now. Um. Oh, there he is. Oh, 
Oh, I don't. What does this do? Oh, it just hurts. And the four kings have been vanquished. Did it suck at humanity? That motherfucker. Oh, he did. Yeah, look at that. Oh, God damn it. Ruined the game for me. We got four, though. Because there's four kings. Get it? Yeah, it does make you focus on item descriptions. Honestly, it's super cool. The concept of how you get down here. That was probably the first time one of those actually grabbed me. So... Dude, does dude show up down here now? Not framped, but calfed, coughed, whatever other serpent man. Isn't he supposed to be down here? Or is it because I already talked to Framp too much, he might not show up? Oh, you still have to have the Lord Vessel, okay. I don't know what they were now, Ev. Oh, I said it anyway. Uh, Chunk No Captain Chunk is from the Goonies, as Connery said, but there's also a band called Chunk No Captain Chunk that's pretty good. I like them. Do we pump a tomb in anymore? I don't really care. We don't need to. Okay, um, so with that being complete, we are going to do two things. First off, this is a good stopping point. So we are going to wrap up this episode for YouTube right here. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 1. Air's journey is very quickly coming to a close. We have two bosses left, I believe. Yeah, Calamite and then the final boss of the game. Um, Calamite might take a little while. The final boss will not, unfortunately. Um, but anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 1. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.